It's currently raining, it's pouring, my dog in the living room is snoring. Hey vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about some flavors from shijinvapor.com. <laughs> Class, bitch. All right, guys, so today I'm looking at four different flavors that you can get at shijinvapor.com. And the flavors I have to try today are Melon Ball, Vape Made, Frosted O's, and Coconut H2O. So these are 60 ml bottles and they are $23.99 for either of these flavors. And they're available in zero, three, and six milligrams nicotine. All four of these flavors are 70% VG. And I'll show you the packaging in the bottle of each individual flavor as we go. So let's just get started. I am gonna try the coconut H2O first because I do like coconut water in real life. So I've never had it in vape form. I am trying my flavors on my troll RDA, of course. But if you don't have an RDA or don't know how to use one and you still wanna flavor test without committing to an entire tank full of e-liquid, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. They're super cheap and easy to use. You get a couple puffs of the flavor, you put a couple drops of the e-liquid in there, and I used to use them all the time, so they come in like a five pack and they're super cheap and disposable, so I'll leave a link below to those if you want to check them out for yourself if you don't use RDAs and you still want to flavor test. So let's move on to the Coconut H2O, Naturally Satisfying. Pure coconut water e-juice, no pulp. So here is the packaging. It comes in. There are the warnings. Just the back of the palm tree. And here is a little ingredients, nutrition facts label. It's so cute. E-juice facts. Serving size one bottle, 60 mils. Amount per serving, zero calories. Percent daily values, zero nicotine. 70% VG, 30% PG, 100% freshing, 100% delicious. So that I think is super cute. I like that kind of touch on e-liquid packaging. I am a sucker for some good marketing. And here is the bottle. It's a 60 mil. And it again has all the same information on it that the box did so let's let's give it a smell and then we'll wick it up these are the childproof caps mmm this smells like coconut which I love me some coconut I don't like the texture of coconut but I love the flavor and coconut sorbet is so good there's these like island sorbets I actually don't even know what the brand is but they're sold at my local Costco and they come in little like the coconut flavor comes in like a little half coconut shell and like then there's like lemon mango um, orange too and they're so good All right here we go with coconut h2o Mm. You know, water doesn't have a flavor, so it is just mainly a coconut flavor. It's actually pretty creamy too, like it's a creamy, thick coconut. Clouds, bitch. Oh. Yeah, I'm a sucker for coconut flavors though, so if you just like want a pure, refreshing, like creamy but light it's like a creamy coconut drink i know it's supposed to be water but i'm getting lots of yummy coconut and coconut is creamy itself so but it's oddly refreshing i could vape this flavor all day though because it's coconut and i love me some coconut all right let's move on so this is the frosted o's the packaging looks like this now this is like oat cereal in powdered sugar and there's actually a little vape game on the back i believe it is yeah it's like a find the word word search vape search that's what they call it and then ingredients list on this side and warnings of that side and out of the package comes a 60 ml and this is the same we have the ingredients over here and the warning over here guess what i'm struggling to get this cap off like hardcore i'm becoming very impatient because i can't get the childproof cap off you know what i can't get the cap off so we're gonna move on and when i'm less frustrated we'll come back to it but i my hands hurt like look how red my hands are i can't get the cap off so we're moving on this one is vape made premium e-liquid peach lemonade here is the label got the warnings over there and then the e-juice facts nutrition facts little side 
to oh please let me be able to take off this cap a lot easier and the bottle art matches the box art okay i got this one off i literally had to use my teeth like what is it am i not strong enough to freaking do a childproof cap okay vape made mmm i love me some peach vapes Mmm, -mm, yum. So peach is definitely the prominent flavor here. And the, if there was lemonade, it's a very light undertone of lemonade flavor. But it's mainly just juicy, yummy peach. Ooh, clouds, bitch. The vapor production from these e-liquids is lit. It almost has like a candy peach vibe as well, but it's definitely like a juicy, fresh, refreshing peach drink flavor with like an undertone of like peach rings, like the gummy peach candy rings. Honestly, I don't know which one I like better because I like peach and I like coconut. So like, I'd, I'd like a really, I like them both and I'd vape them both. It's gonna be hard to pick a favorite, but we need to try the two other flavors. So let's move on. I'm actually gonna revisit the Frosted O's and um, I'm gonna use my teeth again since that worked with the Vape Made Peach Lemonade one. And I got it. Hmm, smells good. Now, these, like on the bottom part, they look like Cheerios, but they are powdered sugar frosted oat cereal. So Cheerios aren't powder frosted, and Frosted Flakes are, right? They do, they just kind of smell like Cheerio cereal with like a little bit of sugar in there. Hmm. You know, I've never had a Cheerio vape before and this definitely tastes like I would imagine Cheerios to taste like in a vape, but it does have the extra like powdery sugared flavor to it. Now I don't think this is like a cereal in milk vape. I really, vape's still coming out of my lungs. I really feel like this is a like a drier cereal vape. Like if you were just to eat the cereal like out of the box. Not bad. It tastes exactly like the flavor description describes. Next up we have Melon Ball Bubble Gum. Here is the packaging. We got the warnings ingredients over here. A little vape crossword puzzle on the side. And warnings over here. Inside of the box we have a 60 mil with the same sort of label art on it. Now, I'm going to just open this. Mmm! <laughs> smells like bubble gum. Wow. It's like a melon medley bubble gum flavor. So I feel like I'm getting honeydew and cantaloupe. I feel like there's some watermelon in there. It's a very, like it says, melon ball. It's a very melony bubblegum flavor and the distinctive chewy bubblegum flavor is there as well. I love all the vapor that this e-liquid produces. It's pretty vapey in here right now. And this isn't like a sickly sweet sugary like overloaded sugar bubblegum flavor which is sometimes why I don't really like bubblegum flavors is because they're like heavy thick like and that's funny because I like sugary e-liquid but when it comes to the bubblegum flavors it's like too much that's like I think that might be like the only exception to my love of sugary tasting e-liquid anyways all good flavors all spot on on what they're supposed to be now as far as my favorite it's it's a toss-up really between the coconut h2o and the peach lemonade but i think if i had to choose i'm, I'm probably gonna go with the coconut h2o like it's just so yummy it's a creamy yummy coconut refreshing drink and i would like some coconut water i actually um do this thing i don't even know if it's a thing i just do it where i drink water coconut water specifically but water too um after i drink <laughs> like when i'm hungover it really helps i don't know my dad was the one that was like started that back when he used to drink he doesn't drink anymore but when he did he would get the coconut waters uh <laughs> when he was hungover and i'm like why do you drink those things like they're the best for the hangover and so i started doing that fun fact you know anyways that's it I will leave a link below to where you can check out these e-liquids for yourself if you are interested. If you've tried any of these flavors, please feel free to comment below and tell me what you thought. 
I would love to hear from you guys. But that's it for the video. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up for e-liquid testing. Uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. But don't forget to hit that little bell notification symbol down below as well. Because being a subscriber doesn't mean you will see all of my videos that I upload every single day of the week. I actually, I'm sorry I didn't upload this last weekend. I was super busy doing house stuff because we're planning on tearing down this house and building a new one um and also it was like not a very good weekend like I was super busy and like super depressed about a family situation actually because my grandpa had passed away two years ago over the weekend so he was like a father figure to me and most of you watching probably know that unless you're super new to the channel or don't follow me on twitter or snapchat or anywhere where I've would have posted it over the weekend. So anyways, that's it. I'm rambling because I haven't filmed for a minute because I didn't upload over the weekend. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining casa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.